Welcome to the Adjunct CEO Podcast with your host, the Adjunct CEO, Dean Akers. Tips, ideas, and interviews with top leaders to help you and your business when results matter. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody today to uh, our special 4th of July edition of Adjunct CEO. Uh, it's actually spawning some thoughts for a new webcast podcast I'm going to do with What's Right with uh, Your World. I, I uh, This week has just been especially uh, cool for me. Uh, a lot of neat things happen, and it's fun on the 4th of July to kind of reflect and look at our opportunities, things that have happened right in our world. I'll meet people, and they'll tell me everything that's wrong, and you know, they'll, they'll talk about this and that and how somebody pulled out in front of them or their steak wasn't cooked perfect. And they really start angsting about what's not right in the world. And, I, and the same people that are angsting about this live in beautiful homes, have healthy kids and all this. And I've been blessed recently to meet a number of people in nonprofits that are giving of themselves. Uh, we have a guy in Tampa, Tim Marks, that runs Metropolitan Ministries. I mean, I just am amazed at what the innovation and things he's doing to change people's lives. Uh, uh, I've shared with you uh, Nancy Lang. She's a young lady that is uh, working with our veterans uh, to uh, to get out there and teach them to transition through LinkedIn and just her passion of working with these. And I say veterans. There are people coming out of service from one of our big uh facilities here at McDill Air Force Base, so she's helping those people, and there's just so much going on right, and so on this 4th of July, I'd really like for each of you, if if you have interest and you want to kind of take the road I've been able to journey, which is what's right with my world, Uh, we all have challenges. I think some of you know my father committed suicide uh, years ago. Uh, My uh, brother died of AIDS back in the 80s. Uh, There's just all kinds of things that happen in our lives that are tragedies that we all have to deal with. And at the end of the day, when we reflect back on what's right with our life, it tends to create uh, aura around you of more right things to happen. And quite frankly, some of the things that have happened to me also career-wise, people go, God, Dean, what happened? I go, you know, it happened. And I can tell you now as adjunct CEO helping companies, getting out of their way with their own self-talk, them working and finding out what's right with their business, working out how what's right with their customers, and working on how to make their businesses better with an attitude of smiling and figuring out how to create a what's right in this world for everybody they touch makes a huge difference. Uh, this past week, I was, I was uh, in the line of a grocery store here locally, and I was buying groceries, and this woman walked up behind me that was uh, in her late 80s, maybe early 90s, had a smile on her face. She and I started talking about how beautiful her day was. And I noticed she had a newspaper, and I asked her, I said, would you like to go in front of me? She goes, no, I, I'm way okay right now. I'm having such a great day. I'll just wait my turn, and, and I'll buy my newspaper. And I sat there, and I looked, and I wow, wow, how cool is this, this person who's probably had a lot of a lot of chapters in her life that we could relate to that we would angst about, but just had this beautiful outlook. And so when I was checking out, I asked the lady ahead of me, or, or the lady checking me out, if I could, uh, if I could, uh, I said, I want to pay for her paper. So I quietly paid for her paper, and I just went on out the store. And as I'm pushing my card out, this lady comes up behind me fairly rapidly, and she stops me, and she goes, you didn't need to buy my paper today. And I said, you know what? You made my day so cool with what was right in your world. I thought, how how could I? I mean, just don't worry about me buying your paper. It was an honor and a privilege to buy your paper today. I just want to tell you that I really appreciate how your perspective on life is and what's right with your world. And I reflect back what's right in my world. I have, uh, you know, five sons, three stepsons. They're all awesome young men, uh, eight of them, and my, my uh, number two stepson is in the Air Force out uh, protecting our country, and I'm so proud of him. 
uh, you know, enlisting and, and taking that direction. And all my other sons are following their passion. And and when I get to talk to them, I just I just I just smile of all the things that have gone right in my life, uh, and how my uh, in my first marriage, my first wife, how she uh, raised our sons to be the men they are with our help, my help, and her, but mainly her direction and her what's right with the world. Uh, my, my wife today is, uh, the, you know, I cherish her to death, and she's out helping her brothers and different people in her community of what's right in their world and bringing smiles to them. And so on this July 4th, I just wanted to take a few minutes and, and, and reflect with everybody as the adjunct CEO Look in the mirror today. Ask yourself, what's right in your world? My bet is, is that list is pretty long. My bet is when you get up in the morning and you head into work or do whatever you're going to do tomorrow, reflect what's right with your life, what's right with your world, and it'll put a smile on your face. Then reflect what's right in your family, reflect what's right in your community, reflect on this July 4th, what's right with our country. There's so much right with our country. And be proud of everything that you come in contact with. And go out there. Go out there and be ambassadors of what's right in your world. Carry that attitude and make somebody else's day special so that they'll be able to reflect what's right in their world. <music>